What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Mike, and this CIF softball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Tuesday afternoon, a beautiful one in the LBC. We're at the Mill, where Milliken's hosting Oxnard in the second round of the CIF Division II softball playoffs. These two teams met in the quarterfinals last year. They're playing for a berth into that round this year. As Milliken, their head coach Don Harper, the Rams trying to take the sting out of the Yellow Jackets from the Nard. Rams coming in as the three seed out of the Moore League, but seed doesn't matter now. It's all about who you're sending in the circle, and the Rams are sending junior lefty Megan Leiter. She caged the first two batters of the game. That's what we call two liters of pop. In the bottom of the first, Rams on Lania Goodman with the leadoff single. Megan Astacio here with the sacrifice bunt. They try to throw to second to get Goodman. She's going to take third, but cut her off. Coronado from deep in center, just setting the tone defensively. In the second inning, two on, two out, short. Oh my goodness, Sarah Foster with the dive out of nowhere to cut down, end the inning, end the threat. We gotta take another look at that one. I'm pretty sure Sarah Foster is from Long Beach, but she proved that Foster Australian for catch of the year. Unbelievable play to come up and get that ball. Wow, literally out of nowhere. <laughs> you didn't even see her for a second, and that would set the tone defensively all day. In the third, a leadoff single and a bunt. Snow to Foster at first to get it, to Perez at third to cut down the runner, to Astacio to get it done. Your average three, four, five, six double play. We now move to the third inning. Milliken trying to get something going here. Megan Luce had a leadoff double. Goodman with the sack bunt. It walked Snow, setting up this huge play. Foster with the RBI single. Puts a run on the board. I just checked my Australian thesaurus. Foster, also Australian, for go-ahead RBI single, JJ. Want some more defense? We got some more defense. Fifth inning, Perez with the quick release. Good. Just getting her over there at first. The senior with a huge play. And then with two outs, Estacio showing some range. And teammates don't shake hands. Teammates hug. <laughs> he got her and got her and got all of them. We moved to the fifth inning. Estacio with the two-out single. Look at this. A game of inches beating out that throw. That would have ended the inning instead. Snow coming to the plate. She's due for a big fly. And on the 1-0 pitch, she gets a hold of that one. Sprays that to the gap in right center. Estacio going to come all the way around to score. That's a huge run for the Rams. My favorite ice cream, Estacio Crunch right there. Putting the nard into a grinder here, down 2-0 with lighter on. That's tough, JJ. Oh, slow down, girl. You're fooling them. If you're getting them like that in the late innings, you know you're on. She had just three strikeouts, but she was mixing them up all day. Uh, we, we now move on. The infield single, an error gets Snow on base, and then another infield single from Perez sets up this. So with the bases loaded with one out, Haley Shum, is it a sacrifice fly? No, because Coronado's in second. The senior is just cutting him down all over the place. Edwards is appreciative because the senior comes up in the seventh and hits a one out double to left. Helping herself is the pitcher, and the Yellow Jackets are not done. Well, here's where things start to get interesting. The freshman Isis Cabral, a single through the right side. That's going to put runners on the corners with two out, JJ. And then a hit by pitch of Maria Hernandez takes first with the free base. Base is now loaded with two outs. Coronado up. Of course it will be Coronado. All she does is make big plays. And it's a double down the line. Are you serious? No. One out away <laughs> from victory. But we're the, not serious. The double, it's 2-2 two, two in the seventh. What are you talking about, Mike? Obviously it's a double. Hold everything, JJ. We've got to have a conversation about this. Uh, I had a better view maybe than the camera. We're going to take another look on the camera. This definitely looked wide. On the replay, you can see from where the ump is standing. He doesn't make a call either is why Don Harper went out to talk to him. Well, they let the runs come home they talk about it they rule it a foul ball as you can imagine the coaches from the nard are incensed about it and someone's got to go tell this poor girl yeah you got to go back and bat again dude this happened to wilson and lakewood in the first round of the playoffs finally a more league team having something crazy happen but it's going their way <laughs> lighter with new life she makes it count the six unassisted ground out to end it winner winner quarter chicken dinner <laughs> my favorite jj that's just the right amount the Rams, though, are not satisfied. They want some more of this playoff action. This team has growing up before our eyes as they make it to the quarterfinals for the second straight year. What a day for the Milliken program. What a day for the Moore League. Lakewood also winning, so these Rams will be able to stay at home and watch, yes, their Rams take on whoever comes because they're in the quarterfinals and Lakewood and Milliken are two wins away from a Moore League semifinal. 
for everything local softball. You're in the right place. This is GazetteSports.com, and we are Long Beach Sports.